In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove any virus and not only remove it, but do a better job than if you took it and paid a professional hundreds of dollars to fix your computer. Now, having said all that, there's one type of virus that still will cause problems. If you have ransomware and it encrypted your files, please note it will remove the ransomware virus, but your files will still remain encrypted. So that's the one virus that I am just scared to death of in a business or residential environment because you pretty much have to restore those files from backup or cough up the money to get them unencrypted. Now, I've been removing viruses since the late 90s to early 2000s, and I normally would carry around a massive tool set with a whole variety of programs to uh, tackle any occasion. However, the game kind of changed several years back when TronScript came out. It is a fantastic utility that people have put hundreds of hours in and basically makes uh, to where you don't need to actually pay a professional to remove viruses anymore. Now you've seen all these other YouTube videos where they're like, hey, run malware bytes or run this one program and it should fix it. That is crap because there's so much that goes into taking viruses off and repairing a computer, such as you need to remove all the temp files. It'll make your run times far faster. You need to debloat windows. You need to remove all the viruses. Once they're removed, you need to repair your system. If it corrupted any system files, that needs to be done. And then it's just optimizing and cleaning up. Tronscript does all of those things. And it does it with a conglomeration of a whole bunch of utilities and programs. It has over, I think, 20 or 30 different programs packaged into it. Uh, you know, the big names are there, Malwarebytes, Sophos, Kaspersky. It uses a whole variety of utilities to fix your computer, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So with all that said, let's get into actually removing it. I'm gonna walk you through Tronscript. Just know I am speeding up an hour and a half process on this to about six minutes. And I'm trying to detail each step it takes so you understand what's going on. As far as user interaction, once you hit run, there almost is none. There's only one portion of it that actually requires user interaction, and that is to run the malware bytes when it actually pops up on that side of the window. Everything else is completely automated, and it is fantastic. Now, it does take a very long time to run, and I'll detail all that as we go. Okay, to start off, we're going to the Tronscript Reddit and downloading it. Please note the sequence of operations it's going to do is prep, temp clean, debloat, disinfect, repair, patch, and optimize, and then does a wrap up where it deletes anything it has downloaded during this script's operation. It is incredibly powerful, and I'm going to go through and run this and kind of tell you what each part is doing and when it does it. So first we download it. It is a big download of roughly 600 megs. Uh, you scroll down to the bottom here, go ahead and click the link and then download the executable. Now I've already downloaded this so we don't have to wait. So let's go ahead and launch the executable and see what we get. So we'll go ahead and open this. Say more information, run anyway. Right now it's just extracting all the tools it needs. Okay, with that extracted, we can go ahead and close our browser out and then go into Tron. From here, read the instructions before just blatantly running a batch file. So let's go ahead and open it up. It goes ahead and summarizes usage summary, command line use, interrupting the script, all these things. So it will run for several hours, especially if you've been using this computer for many years and it has a large hard drive. It will take a long time to go ahead and scan all of this. So just make sure that you do that. So let's go ahead and go to the usage here and just look over it. First things first, it says, make sure you install all the updates. Second, copy the tron.bat and the resource folder to the desktop of the target machine. Second, Tron can be run with Windows, either safe mode or regular. It recommends regular for the first time. Third, right click and run as administrator. And then it says wait anywhere between three and 10 hours. This is important. I, for me, this is gonna be in a slower virtual machine that has actually like 50 gigs. So it's not gonna take anywhere near three hours. But just know if you have a lot of storage, it will literally take this long. I had a six terabyte drive 
and three or four on my main machine when I ran it in my Windows instance. And I remember it taking somewhere in the neighborhood of about five to six hours to complete on that, just to give you an idea. And I have a very powerful machine, so it does take a long, long time. Once it finishes, you will need to reboot. So with that, let's go ahead and follow these guides and put these on our desktop. So we'll go ahead and close the instructions out and we will simply cut these and paste them onto the desktop. We'll right click, run as administrator, and then it says, hey, they are not responsible for any damage that happens from this script. Say, I agree in all caps. Again, it walks through all the steps here. Now notice you can add extensions on this. Let's say you only wanted to do a debloat or only a temp clean or only a prep. You can select only those by adding on to this and running it from command line. But for now, we're just doing it saying, hey, this computer's completely messed up. There's tons of viruses and I don't know much about scripting or anything like that. You, this is the steps you need to follow. So right here is stage one, the prep. It's disabling a lot of services, creating a restore point. It runs our kill to kill any external processes. So it basically clears out most of task manager. So it goes ahead and makes your system run a lot faster because there's not nearly as many processes running. Again, right here it is just simply backing up registry and other things just in case we have failure in the middle of this script run. PDSS killer is an actual rootkit finder. So it's probably looking for anything like uh, that's attached to system processes. All right, stage zero is complete. Now it starts temporary file cleanup. Okay, temporary file is completed and now it's debloating the system, removing any junkware. All right, stage two is complete with the debloat. Note that took about five to five minutes. On a normal system, it usually takes about 10 minutes. Now the disinfection has begun now Malware bytes is being launched and ran. You'll see it in the processes go through its motions. I left the CPU task manager up just so you can kind of see what the system is doing on top of looking at the CMD. Now during this, you see you must manually click scan in the malware bytes window. And there it is, it just popped up. So I'll go ahead, close this, and then we just simply hit scan now. Right now we're doing two things. Kaspersky and Malwarebytes are running at the same time, so you get to see both of them in Task Manager running. All right, Malwarebytes is complete. All right, Kaspersky's finished, and now it's using, going on to Sophos virus removal. Okay, it downloaded the viruses for Sophos, and now it should do a complete scan using the Sophos application. So stage three is complete. Now stage four has begun. It goes ahead and cleans up any orphaned MSI files. And then it does the DASM service to actually fix Windows. So this is probably the best way to fix Windows 10 as it does replace many system files. So if a virus infects and ruins a system file, DASM typically will go ahead and clean that up. Please note, a lot of people think System File Checker does this. Out of the hundreds of times I've used System File Checker, I've probably only had one or two actually work. So DISM, by far the best portion of the repair section of this, and uh, System File Checker will run after this, but it's kind of not needed in my opinion. With DISM done, System File Checker is firing off right now, so it'll go ahead and verify the system files. Okay, here is the completion report. After it completes its wrap up and everything, it spits this out. Couple things to note, any warnings detected during the check disk it ran, it will say here, it says there's a smart read error. That typically means I probably should be looking at replacing this disk. And then it also kind of tells you how much disk space you reclaimed. Now this was a pretty minimal 20 gig install that this ran on and it even reclaimed almost nine gigs on this super tiny Windows 10 installations. So that was TronScript. It is just a fantastic program. I'm so lucky to have found this several years ago. The times I've had viruses or run into them, it has just done a great job. So uh, I hope this works for you. If it doesn't, let me know in the comments because I have yet to see something this thing didn't fix when it came to viruses. 
Now, if you keep getting infected with viruses on Windows, you might consider switching to Linux. I made the switch last November, and I've been very happy with my results. And with that said, I'll see you on the next video.